Hi everybody, this is Vicki, and I have been working on a few projects that I shared with you um, before I move on to the next thing. So anyway, um, let me just show you this one that's showing right here. It's a, just a little piece I kind of made because of, uh, I had a lot of chipboard that, you know, when we used to buy these chipboards for little albums, I have a ton of these and so I thought oh might as well use them uh, rather than cutting up more chipboard that you know isn't in form this one is like a flower it's really cute and um, I never made um, albums I'm really not into album making but um, I uh, thought I'd use this so I painted it up um, with some gesso and a little bit of paint and um, See in the back it I really didn't finish it off but um, anyway uh, I made these because of I still have some of these left over and I wanted to um, give them away and so I made these um, these are those little clip paper clip type of things that you know clip on and um, it's hard to do this while I'm looking through the camera but anyway it it clips on like that but I made these little pockets, um, they are envelopes that I've made in the past, and I just um, made two of them, and then I decided to put it on this um, on this little uh, chipboard, and um, so this fits in there nicely, as well as a little cloud, and uh, I have another little heart in here that this one is like um, I did in, you know, I put it in that um, Udi, you know, that we bought. And so it's it's like glass glossy and um, so um, that one goes in there and also I I found these little um, well this one in particular I just found one and um, it's those little uh, chipboard pieces that had these it was all um, kind of craft color and I had a ton of those. Now, I since I found this and I decided to gesso it and then kind of scrape some of that um, the the embossed part off, so it and I thought that came out really nice. And so I was looking. I turned my craft room upside down to find them because I have a ton of them somewhere, and uh, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so I made I made my own. So I embossed um, a piece of um, uh, craft paper and then I put it I thickened it and you can actually put it on a piece of um, a chipboard and then cut it away and put it on top gesso it and then you know scrape off some of the with a sanding block uh, some of the top of it so anyway I made it so it would be kind of um, similar but not really <laughs> and um, and I thought that looked really cute because of this background here and with this. And um, then I decided to, last ones I made, kind of, you know, I used that really um, flexible wire. And so I thought I'd use my thicker wire. It's galvanized steel. And so I kind of doubled it and then I wrapped it with this um, uh, silk, um, silk cording. And I think I like this shabbiness look. And then this is one of my crocheted, you know, whenever you make things, make a whole bunch, especially if they're like um, embellishments, because you can use it for other, you know, other times you give things away. And so um, I made this and then I'll put the name here. And then um, this is one of the pieces that I've um, put together. And, um, and made up and I thought it came out kind of cute and so that's one of them and then the other one I made um, and these things I've been working on you know I'll do um, parts here and there and um, uh, I want to show you this also because this is so cute okay so you've seen these that I've made in the past but um, I'm trying to think of ways to uh, package them to give it you know give them away and so what I did was um, 
I saw Marissa, my friend Marissa, Creative Young Mama. Hi, Marissa. Um, I don't think she ever watches my videos. <laughs> but anyway, I saw one of her videos uh, that she made um, with this packaging. Um, I think it's like a sheet of, you know, uh, sheet protectors. And so I got my sheet protector out. And I got my... Um, I had my sewing machine out because I did another project and so I just uh, folded it twice and then um, just machines you know machine um, sewed it I don't know if this is exactly how she made it but um, I figured you know that I could make it somehow to put this in here so I could um, but you know these sheet protectors are kind of thin and I mean kind of cloudy looking so I'm not happy with that but that's the one only ones I could find at the time and um, so this little thing I made out of just uh, cardstock and fabric I sewed it on here and you know sewed on a little fabric on cardstock and then uh, just these come off they're just clipped on see I'll show you the back see how it's just clipped on with those on the back but um, these are made differently than the original from um, I think her name is G I G um, Kerr and that I follow her uh, website she has really cute ideas but um, so these clip clip ones are made differently than the ones that she's made uh, originally made the heart ones but um, I put these on like this because they're so, so cute and then this is how this turns out I you do one side um, with uh, your your glitter pieces this is the one from um, Target and I bought three uh, different ones but um, I found it I finally found it I was looking for it because um, I think I originally saw it on my friend um, Marilyn G. <laughs> I'm drawing blanks. But anyway, um, so I put it in one of the pouches and sewed it. And the other one, I, um, cut open, left it open, and then put this washi tape on the end so that you knew to pull this out here. I'll probably put another piece of washi tape on there so you can see this end too. You know, this end. And, um, then you just slip it in. Isn't that cute? So Marissa had that great idea. I don't know where she got that idea. Maybe she made it up herself. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought that was a really great idea. And this goes in here like so. And cool, right? So that's this, is this one. Okay, and then another one I made um, was this one. And um, let me pull back because it's, it, it's meant to sit, it's a canvas that's like an inch and a half um, block. And so this is what it looks like. It stands up and it's really cute. So um, I made this, let's see how the sides are like, it's uh, thick. And I painted it initially with a base of a pink and um, blue on the top. And then I... Um, gessoed it also and then did a little sewing you see this eyelet here and this fabric and there's this um, this part here and sewed it independently and then just put it on on this thing glued it on um, so that was the base okay so this is paper that I had in my stash and I used I made a little pocket for these little um, things so um, um, once I take it out I'm not gonna put it back on because it takes a little you know time and so I have these little ones that I put on the back like this um, and this goes in the pocket okay so it's a little pocket so who, who I give it to can take off those um, these little things and use them in their planner or wherever they want to use them and they can put little notes inside here um, you can put notes to um, notes to yourself little um, messages or wishes and put them in here or hopes and dreams um, 
So you can put them inside here. This can go on your on your desk or uh, anywhere on your shelf, you know, anywhere. And then um, what I did is just collage little pieces like this I just had. And this is the last piece I have, but I bought it in downtown L.A. They had one little piece, and I told them I wanted that. <laughs> and then um, I made this little um, chain with things on when I was making purse change, uh, purse dangles. And I decided what I'd do with this was put a little button on the end. I thought it went well with this kind of homespun thing. And then um, I I did, um, this is my little daisy, I love that. And I put these little buttons on here in the pocket. And this one is like a pearl one that I got on one of those old cards. And uh, so it's kind of a... A vintage one. These I made out of felt, little flowers. I had gotten a little die in the mail with, you know how you get gifts from companies, they give you little dies, tiny dies. Um, and this is one of them that I got in the mail with my order. And so I just um, stitched the end and then grouped them. Um, I uh, strung little tiny um, seed beads and put them in, in there before I laid them down. And the leaves, I um, used white and then put alcohol ink on these and placed them there. Uh, let's see. I had this wood chip and then I covered, I painted it and put some glitter on it. And then this one up here is a, um, oh, I forgot her name, Marie, somebody. <laughs> die I had um, it was gifted to me by my friend Jenny hi Jenny from Hilo and then um, I made this little scroll type thing I stitched it it's paper it's kind of an old typewriter paper that I had and I just um, you know I wrote this with my pen and then um, I just glued it on and put a little paint over it and then just dangled some little um, uh, rhinestone charm, char rhinestone chain. And these are like uh, some things from my stash that I just gessoed and placed here. Um, this is also one from my stash because I think I bought a few of these from Home Depot uh, a while back when I was um, doing some work with... Um, what is that called? <laughs> Just redoing old things. And um, so I have these left over. And on the sides, I did the little picket fence and and did a little, let me show you real close up because I really love how I did that. And then I have little words and things on tiny, tiny, breathe in the love. And then on the back, I have, um, I have this, backing of the canvas and I put it on with um, this paper that I got from I don't know where <laughs> and then I um, put the little angels on there and um, I wrote a, a little message in the back with gesso on on paper I think it's canvas actually and then um, I, I glued it back I glued it in onto the back after I cut these open and glued these pieces too. This is glued back here. So it's opening. So this is all done. Oh, let me show you the other side. It's a little chipboard also. Did a little writing. And on the feet of the bottom, um, I just have a little, little doilies and, you know, so I signed it. So that's what that looks like. So that's my projects. And I um, hope you enjoyed seeing these. And um, I have some other things I've been working on as well. It's mostly all collage. But um, I enjoy collaging and do a little sewing. I have to bring my sewing machine back up here. <laughs> oh, well. And uh, a little fabric, too. But um, I, so I'm glad I, I got some... Um, projects done and hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.